Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to take a look at a Nike and Sakai collaboration by Chitose Abe. I've been trying to get my hands on one of their shoes and I was able to get this pair. So this is not as popular as the Waffle collaboration. This is the Cortez, but it has the similar design elements from the collaboration. Basically that it looks like two shoes kind of morphed into one. So I'm just going to go over some of the details and then later on I'll show you what it looks like on. So for sizing, much like for me at least, all of Nike shoes tend to fit either half size to a full size larger. So I got this in a US size 8. Normally I wear a US size 7. But I found that when I've tried Nike shoes that were US size 7, they tended to be really tight. I could get my foot in them, but with socks they tend to feel tight and uncomfortable after walking for a little bit. So I definitely prefer either at least half size if not a full size larger. So this color is the gray color and it's also double laced. So you have the flat and the rounded lace styles. On the inside you only have one Nike check but on the outside you have two where one is printed and this air bubble is not in the original Cortez design as this with this extra piece in the sole here which I think is very indicative of the collaboration especially this part the double checks and then also there are, so here are the two tongues the one on the outside is Nike and Sakai and then the inside is just Nike and I think you can actually lace it all the way up to this if you want it to be more tight around your ankles and then on the back it has the two logos so you have Nike and Sakai although I believe this this font Nike is in the Sakai font. It doesn't look like it's the style that Nike uses. So you kind of have these extra pieces as well that I don't believe are in the original Cortez design. And then I think the bottom's the same. And these shoes retail for 180 US dollars. As you expect, this isn't, I don't think this is like a premium line necessarily. And so the quality is very much your standard Nike quality. And what I mean by that is you're gonna see areas with glue, there's gonna be the material like the suede, there's already gonna be some minor blemishes on it. At least that's been my experience with all Nike shoes. And then next I'll show you what they look like on. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. I will say this is definitely one that I'm glad I got and I'm pretty sure I will be wearing this as kind of a casual shoe too. Even might be good for travel when I don't necessarily want to wear a designer sneaker because they tend not to be that comfortable. So thanks again and I hope to see you in my next video.